<clears throat> Alright guys, let me show you how to use a rat called Spionet version 2.7 final, also known as Remote Administrator Tool. What you're going to want to do is, I'm, uh, I'll give you the link in the description. Oops. I'll give you the link in the description. Don't worry about it. Once you get it, you're going to want to download it. It's going to come up as a OneWire file. Then, you're going to want to take this and just drag it out here. I've already done that, so I have no need to. Then you're going to want to close out. Then you're going to want to open up SpyNet version 2.7 point file. Then you should come up with these. Language, SpyNet, MS Info Document, and SpyNet 2.7 final. You're going to want to open it. And my computer is actually very slow to go hyper a bunch of other crap. So it might take a minute before this actually pops up, so just bear with me. And this is just ahead of time if you are looking to make your server FUD, which it means fully undetectable, meaning no antivirus protection or software may pick it up. Um, leave me a comment or message me. I FUD for fifty cents to a dollar, sometimes cheaper, it all depends. And this hasn't loaded yet, it's kinda pissing me off. You guys can scan this or upload it to no virus thanks or virus total and scan it. Won't come up with thing, it's clean. It's it's great actually. Okay, it should be opening up very soon. Okay, it's open up. All right, then on here you should have information about your computer. Um, as you can tell, give RAM, no virus protection, no firewall. You know, I don't use that shit. Should look like this. Spynet 2.7 final. You don't want to click do is click start. And then what you're gonna want to do is see I have waiting for connection points at 81. What you're gonna want to do, you wanna go to options. Make sure it's on English. If it's not, click select language. And it should be set to English. If it's not, click default, and that should be it. And if you wanna click a port, click selecting select listening ports. And like I said, I would do port 81 to add a port. Just type port 81. Click OK. If it is, you can put whatever you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, A, B, C. One, two, three. Don't matter. Connection limit. You know, whatever you want. And this just means how many bots can be online at the same time. Once you're done, click save. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to file. Then you want to do is create server. I'll delete this. What I'm going to do is there'll be zero users, so click new. And just type in, I'll type in just Windows. Then you, what you want to do is click OK. Then you want to do is open it up. Then at this, this is where you're going to type in your no IP account. If you do not have one, go to www.no-ip.com and make an account. If you don't know how, leave a comment or send me a message, and I'll make a video or just help you over Team Bureau. I'll delete this, and I'll type in my no IP account. Then what you want to do, you're going to want to type in the port. Okay, so it should look something like this. It won't look like locked down, but it should have no IP dot whatever you're gonna have dot biz dot whatever the heck it is. And then click add. And for this, this is what it's gonna look like when, when a bot connects online. Name it slave, uh, zombie. Don't matter. And for this, put it whatever one two three four five six a b c d one two three four. I don't care. I'll use one two three four five six. And then install. This is where you're gonna wanna with the pretty much the file is gonna go. So if you want the file to melt, I don't like using melt, but you can use this. These are pretty much for startup keys. I'd recommend using all of these. If they're random, you could pretty much put whatever, you know, just click a couple times. And for install server, don't matter, system, windows root program files other I'll just click system and for this, this is what the file is going to look like when it gets installed so you can name this to whatever you can name it to system32 you can name it to dick um, fail whatever you want or you can just keep it to you know whatever I'll put one and this is no injection meaning it doesn't inject itself to a web browser or a program this would uh, default well, this would put it to a web browser as in like in Explorer, Firefox, Google, Oprah, you know, whatever the hell people use this would be other for like Explorer, WinLogo, anything else. But if you want this to be F U D, uh I would just recommend clicking so everything's blank like this. And then I would um uh, 
leave me a comment and send me or a message and send me the file and I'll if you it for like fifty cents to a dollar. I accept PayPal only. FUD meaning it'll be fully undetectable and it does work and I'll make sure. Then you want to do is go to message, you know, you can make a say whatever, you know, question, error, warning, information, none, okay, okay, cancel, we try, cancel, yes, no, yes, no, blah, blah, so on, and type whatever you want, you know. Then you can click test, you know, then they'll get this and a ding sound or whatever the hell you have it set to. For keylogger, this is for FTP. If you don't know what FTP is, leave me a comment or a message and I'll set one up for you if you're interested in the keylogger. If you're not, just click this to deactivate it. And to debug, you can keep these unchecked or unchecked. This is usually for like sandbox, so people, they, you know, they try to run in a sandbox, it won't work, and other programs and other things like that. Create server, you use icon compressed with UPX, USB, P2P, you know, put whatever you want. Once you're done, create your server. Name it whatever. Find server. Click save. Click yes. And there it is. Then you want to send this file to people. I'm not going to open it myself. I really don't want to affect myself because it's a bitch to clean up. That's pretty much it. Um, just leave comments, messages if you need any help setting this up. Um, remember, this is all sexy, you know? And this. You know, this is a video on how to set up Spynet 2.7 Final. And if you want to know, if you want to know any about any programs like Cybergate, Cerberus, ProRat, TorGen, or some shit, whatever the hell they want to call it, leave a comment. Leave it to help set up. If you need help doing an OIP, FTP, comment, and I'll help you set up. Like I said, you can scan this or whatever. It's up to you. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. Have yourself a beautiful day.